Colossians 3 verse 10 and having put on the new self and have put on the new self which is being renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator so when you get to know God when you stay in his presence something happens to your mind your mind becomes renewed all the trash gets deleted everything that is trash goes to the recycle bin and gets permanent deleted see Moses could spend 40 days in the presence of God and when he comes down from the mountain he is carrying the same glory as the glory of God do you know you are you are called to be the carriers of his glory Jesus when he's at the transfiguration mountain his appearance changes so when externally things change it happens because internally it has changed only an internal transformation can become you know can overflow in external transformation so when Paul says do not be conformed to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewal of your mind the word transformed can also be said the word transfigured it can be replaced with that so when you are renewed in your mind your body begins to change there's a glow you don't need fairness cream what you need is the renewal the glow of the Lord will flow out of you spending a lot of money in cosmetics which is fine but spend time spend time in the presence of God because in the knowledge of God your mind will be renewed and once your mind is renewed it will show in your body amen finally the final point is the knowledge of God brings us to the fullness of God knowledge of God brings us to the fullness of God Ephesians 3 was 18 to 19 may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge why so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God you'll be filled with all the fullness of God so the reason why we should pray is so that we can increase our mental capacity to accommodate more spiritual knowledge that's the reason why we pray and that's the reason why we read God's Word to increase our mental and emotional capacity so our soul realm needs to be expanded they say that your brain functions at 10% capacity they would say 10% what is your 90% doing I believe that 90% is for your spiritual capacity so there's so much more that your body has been designed already to accommodate the fullness of Christ in that 10% you cannot accommodate the fullness of Christ your brain will f get fried so you can receive the fullness of Christ in your in the knowledge of God the more closely you walk with God in your relationship with God you can experience the same fullness that he carries one example is Enoch the Bible says Enoch walked with God did not walk behind him he walked with God do you know how powerful is that like he understood the frequency of God's walking when God paused he paused when God started walking he started walking that's relationship my friends you know when when I'm with my family my entire family with my sister's family and my parents and everybody if we go somewhere it's hard for me to walk slowly because everybody else is walking slowly the entire family so because people have to take care of children and you know children you know how they are they get distracted so usually I'm 
I'm I'm just going ahead. I'm trying to find the seats in the restaurant, you know, because it's hard. It's hard. But that is where true relationship is. To walk with the person. To walk in step. To walk in step with God. You know, some of you feel that you're far ahead of the church and the church is slow. But it is your training so that you can be humble enough to reduce your steps and walk with the church where you will be blessed. I know so much revelation. What is this pastor doing? He's preaching on the same topic. It's training for you. Humility. So don't try to walk ahead. Don't try to walk behind. Walk with. Walk with. Walk with. It is walk. It is when you walk with that you can experience fullness. Bible says like this in Genesis 5 verse 24. Enoch walked with God and it says and he was not. Just says he was not. ESV says he was not. Some version says he was not found. Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him. There's clarity in Hebrews 11 verse 5. It says by faith Enoch was taken up so that he should not see death. When Enoch began to walk with God what God had, it began to flow in his life through the power of association. God does not have death. So when it was time for Enoch to die, it couldn't happen. God just had to take him. Come. Come with me because this realm can no longer accommodate you. Man, I want to push for that. If I need to leave earth, I need to push for that. I need to believe for that. Not to leave earth with a sickness. If it could happen with Enoch, it could happen with us. It is about walking with God. Walking with God. That's why we pray and we read God's word. That's why we need both the ministry of the word and the ministry of prayer so that we can align our steps with God. Amen. So for those of you who feel like you want to rush forward in life, you want to grow more spiritually, more faster, I'm telling you, calm down. Because it is not about running ahead. It is about walking with. See, I'll tell you something. Look at this picture. Jesus sends his disciples on the boat. So the disciples move head. What does Jesus do? He's spending time with the Father. Now in the moment feel it feels that because Jesus prioritized the Father he's late and the disciples have moved ahead. Now storm happens and they are stuck in the storm and Jesus comes walking to them on the water. The Bible says the moment Jesus stepped into the boat they reached the shore. That's what can happen when you walk with God. When God tells you to pause, you pause. Regardless of what you feel, regardless of your peers going ahead, you pause because God has asked you to pause. And all of these insecurities will come up. Oh man, I have done nothing in life. 2023 is almost about to get over. All the promises, what is the Lord doing? All of this thing will come up. It is in in the midst of that struggle, you keep your eyes on Jesus and say, Jesus, it is all about you. It is all about you. Let them go ahead. It is all about you. Because the moment Jesus steps into your boat, you reach the shore immediately. So if you can pause with God, when he runs, you can run with him. And he runs faster than light. Everything will change just like that. One day, Joseph, who is a prisoner, became a prime minister. One day, one day. Now when we think about it, we think, oh man, you know, yeah, Joseph became a prime minister too soon. But if you ask Joseph who was in the prison, oh, that was difficult. Those years of being in the prison, that was real test. Test of humility. Test of patience. Walk with God. Walk with the people of God. Don't try to go ahead. 
don't try to be too smart what's the word be too smart for your own good don't do that walk with god walk with god you know when i got married my entire life's rhythm was changed it got dis- you know it got disrupted any married husbands feel that yeah like before i got married i had a very strict regimen spiritual regimen physical regimen and all of it got disrupted why because she is a person who walks in a different frequency so it took time for both of our frequencies to align with each other and to create a rhythm in our lives which is completely normal it takes time it takes time and i was getting so frustrated i was lord lord at least i used to spend time with you now i don't have the time i don't have the mental capacity i'm so tired now the lord told me us you can you can go fast when you're alone but with her you can go further with people we can go further alone you can go fast but you cannot go further but with people you can go further so i literally had to reduce my pace calm down slow down one can chase thousands two can chase 10000 so what you think is a setback is not a setback it is a preparation for you to do mighty exploits for the lord it's not a setback amen amen pray in the name of jesus that that arrogance will break right now spiritual arrogance we have to walk with people walk with people walk with people amen yeah either you lift them up and walk or you wait for them but you don't have the opportunity you don't have the privilege of saying i don't want to walk in their pace or i don't want to walk with them you don't have that opportunity if you can pick them and run do it with children we do that with little children we pick them up and we walk if you can do that awesome but if you can't do that then stay there because it's training for you don't get so spiritually arrogant amen these are practical things slow down slow down it's okay the way to accelerate in god's kingdom is through slowing down 